I didn't remember it being trash day on Tuesdays here. Have we not been here on Tuesdays? Is that what it is? Not for a long time. Oh. By the way, good morning, boss. Good morning. It is hot. It's 82 degrees already. It is still 10 something in the morning. We're at our first two. Um, not even gonna say how many we have because we probably won't get them done, but we're gonna do a bunch today. We're working. And I brought our cooling, cooling towels. towels. Um, so these are in our Amazon store. I think I hear the trash talk, but I think they came here already. Yeah, I thought so too. So what are those? So these are cooling hoodies, um, and we ordered these off of Amazon. We've been using them now. This is our second year, but Carl just informed me we don't have any water in here. You could just use a spigot up there and rinse them off if you wanted. True, true. But we're going to do one, two, three, four, maybe five before we go back to the house. Um... Right? Um, it sounds like it's coming here. And take a break. So, that's all right. There's enough room for them to get around, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go get this done. Okay. I'm gonna tell them to move the, the um, hose so that you can weed eat there, right? Okay, yeah. So Rachel's gonna go mow there. I have to mow this one with the 36 because I ran out of gas on the 48 and I didn't have my big gas can with us. And I thought I could get through these first four before we had to go back home to get the gas can, but I ran out of gas. So I had to add some mixed gas in just so I can get it in off the, on and off the trailer. It's not gonna hurt adding a little mixed gas. I've done it since I've had this mower when I've run out and I haven't had gas. Um, and that's got almost a thousand hours on it. And it's never been to the shop for anything. But let me get this mode with the 36 and then I got to start weed eating everything. So they didn't ask us to prune this, but they eventually will. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this back some while she's mowing. I did the front. She's doing the other side. So there, I'm finished this. Obviously, this isn't the tool you would use to prune hedges usually. This is just a shape up if it's not overgrown, but it worked, got it done. And it's not even because if you look over here, I'd like to go lower, but there's a bird's nest in here with eggs. I don't want to disturb it. I didn't realize it was there. 
um, and then I'll just shape it up later with the hedge trimmers. I didn't have them with me and Rachel really wanted this to get done. Um, she was happy I did it. She didn't know I was gonna. So I'm gonna go start weed eating. She'll blow all this out and then just mulch it up when she mows this side. So I finished the front. It doesn't look as good because I used the 36. Um, the 36 cuts nice, but I had stripes in it already from my mower, so. I think it looks nice. Yeah, it still looks nice. And then Rachel did this one. Oh, your stripes look good. I think I could have did better, but. Oh my gosh, there's weeds, man, weeds. Oh, it's always this yard I'm making fun of you. So you guys ask why we have masks on and stuff. This is a pandemic. Um, and Rachel will explain to you why I'm glad she came to you and not me. Um, but she, this is a client that called us to mow. She emailed actually this morning and it's I- not a client of ours regularly. Yeah, she is a client that is like, has been in and out the past couple years cause we're in this development. And she emailed me this morning and said, my son's been sick. Um, do you think that you could mow for us? When are you gonna be in the area? And we were already on our way there, so I hadn't emailed her back yet. I just figured that I would email her back and we would figure out another day to get her on. Well, apparently her son wait, saw wait, us there. first, she came over and gave Rachel the mic. Well, no, it, that's not what happened. Oh. So she, she came over to me and she said, um, do you think that you'll be able to mow my yard today? My son called me and told me that you were here. And I said, um, I don't think that we can get to it today. Let me find out from Carl what day. Okay, let me go get you money then since you're here right now. So I walked over to Carl, I found out and I had my mask on. I walked back over to her and she handed me money. Um, she said 40 still, right? Handed me the money and then proceeded to tell me that her son was in Panama City Beach. And he's been sick for three And he's weeks been now. sick for three weeks. The test came back negative, but they're thinking that it may be a Girl. false negative. And she has not been living at the house for three weeks that she's been social distancing. So guys, this is why we wear masks. And if people get offended because we advocate wearing masks, I'm not worried about it. I'm not dying anytime soon from a silly virus because I don't want to be safe. And if that offends people, I really don't care now. So you know? for the good thing is, is that the son had enough sense to call his mom and say, she said to me, he didn't want to come out and see you guys in case it definitely is Corona. And I said, well, tell him, thank you so much. We do appreciate that because we have four kids at home. It's not just about Carl and I. And you know, it might not be a big deal to some people because it's not, they don't think it's as bad as a virus, but if I get sick, Rachel can't drive the trailer and do 52 accounts by herself. Yeah. A week. So. Or I'm vice versa. I mean, even if I get sick, I mean, Carl can drive the trailer and go out by himself, but is he going to really be able to keep up on 52 accounts week after week without being and burnt I'm out? I'm sorry, guys. This is the reason we're not going to GIE this year. Yeah. We, we are just not ready to do that. I mean, we're we going to miss you guys. No yes, more. we are going to miss you guys, but just for health reasons and our safety call us babies if you want um it is we're, it is. yeah we're gonna try to make sure and do everything possible not to get this and because, we are really nervous about the kids going back to school in yeah. august if they do really nervous so, so be safe that's our rant for the day you won't really hear rants like that every once in a while but when it hits that close when a client comes out and says her son might have it and then gives us the money and it's like it kind of hits me a little close to home and, yeah you know it makes me not even want to touch things in their yard but we're gonna mow it and just spray our hands like we've been doing and clean it yeah so I'll, I'll even actually bring the actual Lysol when we go to spray you know doorknobs and stuff but Okay, right. we're going to go take a break and then get back out and mow a few more. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. This one's done. Rachel went diagonal in the back. I went diagonal in the front. Well done. You guys, it's 90 degrees. Yeah, it's 10 degrees above normal here, but next week it's supposed to be about 8 degrees below normal. I don't know how you guys do it. Like, you guys in Florida and stuff. I guess you 
and Texas, oh my gosh, and California. Um, you guys must just get up super early and just be done. I mean, we're still, this is our fifth one and then sixth one we're going to do. Not mm -hmm. sure whether we're going to run and do the neighbor. We might just mow our yard and then put them because Kayla has to go t to a meeting tonight. And we are making her wear a mask. And yeah. they are doing it outside at a park. So. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but we're going to get out and get this one mowed. And then go mow one more. And then see where we're at. Right? Mm -hmm. When it's this hot, I don't like working hard days. kind of have to do food shopping too. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is the next one, guys. This is the last one we're going to call it a day. It's like 91 degrees out. Seven jobs ain't bad for the day. I like to hit the 10, 12 job mark, but we'll probably get that tomorrow. It's gonna be nine degrees cooler and I think a cold front's coming through. So we'll be to start earlier and work all through the day, hopefully. I think rain too, maybe, but only a 60% chance. So let me go ahead and weed eat this and then we'll go home and do stuff at the house probably in the garden. Not bad. This one's done. Rachel did a good job on that, and it's the last one. I'm gonna go home and relax, well, not relax, but work on stuff in the garden. Whew. So we're finally getting ready to leave. I watered all these water, uh, hanging baskets. They're actually looking really nice. Um, I didn't give them water much yesterday. Um, it's almost 12 o'clock. We didn't go yet because it was pouring down rain when we woke up. Um, and it's gonna rain again. So we're gonna go and try to get something done and run up to the post office in Asheville. But um, it's looking really nice. Look at, I'm gonna have to transplant these things already. And we don't know what that is right there. It just popped up in the thing the girls planted all these flowers. Um, none of this popped up yet. I've been watering it. We're gonna go try to mow some. Man, all these plants look really nice. I came out when it was pouring down rain, moved the chicken tractor for the kids back there, and um, started picking bugs off a of plant. Some people would, but I just, we're not. Yeah, we don't have, we're, we don't have we that have, many clients. Yeah, we don't that have that many have clients that we have to stress and worry about mowing in this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I guess if I seen four straight days of rain and like in and out rain, we try to. Right. But because, like what we did when we had 10 straight days, we did start stressing then and we went out and tried to get work around the rain. Yeah, and now. But this, it's just, we just bleed into Saturday. Yeah, because we have nothing for Saturday, technically. To each their own. Yep. So I'm assuming it was a bad idea to bring the trailer? Yeah. Bad idea. Yeah, it's pouring down rain. We're not mowing today. We're going to push everything for tomorrow. But we're pretty confident we'll get it all done by Saturday. Yeah. I mean, that's why we have Saturday open. For but it's funny that almost every Wednesday... We, we haven't been able to do our Asheville's, but maybe one or two weeks so far this year, all in one day. Yeah. Well, tomorrow we'll get it all in one day. You need to get the air conditioner fixed, boss. Yeah. 
So, okay, we can probably head back home um, and we'll do some stuff at the house because I can work in the rain at the house because I can just come back in. Yeah. So, yeah. let's go ahead and get that done. Let's get that. Okay, guys, since we're not going to work, we're going to show you the chicks. These are the, how many did they get all together? Um, well, we ordered 16, then I got six more, and then we got six more. And just to let you guys know, we... Paige brings these out every day. She will not leave them in this thing overnight. So she brings them in the house um, just for a little while more. I tell her she can leave them out here. If she feels more safe, we can put a giant net over the whole thing, you know? Yeah. But she, her birds. Maybe I'm miscalculating. How many did we get? 20 something. We should have 32 chickens all together. Oh, so, yeah, she's not. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Really, man? Guess what? You penned yourself in the corner, hey, hey. <laughs> and this is where their eggs are. Are there any in here? Oh, yeah. She's laying. Oh, she didn't like that I came in here. Oh, look. She laid an egg. I don't think there's any in this side. Rachel, guess what? Mowing. It's mowing time. Yeah. So let's see how much rain we've gotten so far today. Oh, a quarter inch. Wow. And it's not over yet. I'd like to see a half show you the whole garden because that's a weekly thing we do. But yeah. we show you bits and snips of it. I found a baby bean. Where? Right here. Oh, look at that. We're going to have green beans. <laughs> Oh, here's another one and I've, another one. Oh, my gosh. I've been going through every time I'm out here lifting up the leaves because you can see there's damage. And I've picked a bunch of bugs off so far. Yeah. So, and give them to the chickens. Just look at your plants, guys. But I'm not because... too worried. Uh, this is a bonus because these were frozen down to the ground and dead, I yeah. thought. So, okay, I'm going to go deadhead some of my stuff while I'm out here. Um, but... Yeah, we're just going to call it a day and do work here, yeah. and we'll get caught up by Saturday. So what did you do? You sprayed this the other day, right? Yeah. What, They're all Nemo, dead. Are they dead? Uh-huh. This one is not, but these are all dead. Oh, nice. So the BT works. But as you guys see, these are bolting. These broccolis aren't going to be... Well, you didn't spray it with BT. You sprayed no, with, it with... Uh, neem oil. Neem oil kills them? Uh-huh. Nice. Yes, the other day I did spray them with neem oil. And like I said, we'll still eat these broccolis, especially the tightly compact ones. Yeah. We'll probably cut them earlier. Um, we'll see this week because it's supposed to be cool in the low 80s to mid 70s. Yeah, and then we'll just try again in the fall with yeah, these. Yeah, I'm definitely um, motivated. In but the nothing fall. goes to waste here. Chickens because, eat it. yeah, we have chickens and then we also have dogs, lots of dogs. A live um, one? No. Dead. Oh yeah. man, so the neem oil really so, does work. So what what it does is it disrupt disrupts their life cycle. Look, there's more there's tomatoes everywhere, guys. Yeah, so that was a big one that we missed and look, it's dead. No, that's what Oh no, I don't think that thing's dead, man. Ew, I can't grab that one. You have to grab that one. That one's Oh, that one's so freaking big. Hey, Groundhog. <laughs> groundhog. Yep, I'm right here. Look. Run, run, run. Uh-oh, there's doggies up there. What are you going to do? Man, listen to it out here. 
So we're at a half inch rain now. We'll see how much we get after this comes through. I was over there trying to hurry up and get mulch on the rest of them tomatoes and peppers because I don't like the mud to splash back on them. Um, did I water these enough today? No, they're already dried out again. I thought I watered these. I'm going to give them a shot of fertilizer. They do look too bad it doesn't hang under the awning. I would say I got out of the field just in time. That was right over there. That was a close one. <laughs> I'm glad I came from out of there. I seen the flash when I was about to go in, so I didn't get the flash, but it was right there and like what within a second afterwards, it hit. But Look how pretty it is out here now. So the rain, I think most of it came through. I think there's only a little bit left. I think we got, we didn't get terribly too much, about a little bit under half inch. Um, everything liked it. I'm trying to figure out something I want to do for Rachel here, but where I'm going to do it. I want to do a couple archways with cattle panel. Um, the girls are going to have to come out here and put the little chicks away. So I tried to get something done for Rachel, but she caught me when I went up to get her, uh, I think summer squash or butternut squash, one of them ones. Spaghetti squash, I'm not sure which ones she planted. I'll have to ask her later. But I was trying to build her this without her noticing, but she caught me. Guys, no, we didn't go to work today. I'm hoping this pulls through and it gets cooler out um, in the morning and not so moist. It feels so humid out here. But what I'm going to do with these here, I'm going to plant. Look how everything's growing so much. And then I'm going to get one more cattle panel and a couple more green things and I'm gonna go over to hit these last two plants and then we're gonna bring them squash all the way down and it's gonna be a tunnel of tomatoes going this way and squash going this way. Now if the tomatoes start to come over I might put bamboo to go straight up that way too so I don't know we'll see. Since we're growing them vertically we're gonna grow about a shovel apart. We'll put this one further over that way um, and guys I'm just I'm gonna plop them right in the ground. This is the kind of dirt we're working with. See how it's all clayy? Look. So you do that so you know what? Look, it's like a ball of clay. <laughs> not good, not good. Just from a half inch of rain. It's a ball of clay. So to give these a better chance, I'm gonna come over here and take some of this dirt from these nastrums that are just sitting in the bucket. <laughs> And I'm just going to dig a lot bigger hole than I normally would. Okay. And then let's try to get this plant out with one hand because it's got a pretty big root. Okay, so here we go. That was fine. Oh, no. I want to grab some of this dirt from the bucket here because that's just way to maybe mix some of it in just to help it along. <laughs> we don't have the best, even look, even mixing that in with that, it's like a big clay mess. So we're just gonna do this. It's fine. Hold on. It's hard to do this with one hand, so we'll do this. 